and welcome to episode 30, sort of a landmark. Um, 30 episodes is a lot of episodes to be doing. I've tried to keep it more or less um, one every single day. I think I've missed out one day, uh, well, uh, apart from the weekends, obviously. But big, big episode here, uh, episode 30. We are playing Manchester City in the Premier League this time, so it's still a derby game. And then Atletico Madrid, in where we lost 2-1 at home, so we do have to try and fight back in that leg. So hopefully this should be quite a big big episode for us. So we're going to dive straight into this Manchester City game. This is the lineup I'm going to roll out with. We have got De Gea in net, Luke Shaw, Lindelof, Skriniar and Carvajal at the back. Probably the strongest, I keep saying strongest five and everything, but that is probably our strongest side in terms of Luke Shaw being someone who's um, just consistent, just consistent in that left back spot. Uh, Lindelof and Skriniar, obviously they're the best two in defence for us. And Carvajal, the new signing, on that right-hand side, just someone with a bit of experience. Then Van der Beek and Gretzka in the middle, purely because I want to be playing Pogba in the week, so I don't want him uh, too tired for that game, because I know his stamina is not great. Rashford out on the left-hand side instead of Neymar, just to give him a bit of a rest, because Neymar's... He's had, a, he's had an alright game, he's not had amazing games. Eriksen behind instead of Bruno Fernandes, Sancho on the right, and as we know him, King Greenwood up top. So, I'm going to get straight into this game. Um, tactics sort of, stay, sort of staying the same. Trying to play decent football, not not trying to keep the ball, not trying to slow it down, just just playing smooth, attacking football as much as we can. Right, come on lads, show me what you can do to keep the run going. Go straight into the game, and this really, I'll just I'll bring I'll bring up the league at the bottom here. In fact, no, we have a highlight straight away. Eriksen there with the ball in Lindelof just over the bar. Not too bad, not too bad, but should should have probably done better there. In Oh, hey, we've got another highlight. Ericsson with the ball in. He goes right through the crowd. Rashford's going to try and keep that on. He does well there, to be fair to him. Out to the edge of the box. Van der Beek's in the box here now. Back out to Lindelof, to Rashford, who finds the ball in. Can we get a ball into the box that we can actually pounce on here? Rashford out left there. Van der Beek finds the overlapping run of Luke Shaw. Can he find a good crossing now? He can't. He can't. Back to Van der Beek. Will he shoot? He does. He's off the bar and Greenwood nearly gets there, but Edison teleports <laughs> Edison seems to have just teleported there to pick up the ball as I can't that ball is just, isn't even a pixel on my screen absolutely tiny but back to the matter of hand I, oh, I can't even get to it there's too many highlights going on <laughs> it's, it's, it's more exciting for the episode to be fair though as uh, Arthur plays the ball up front to ugh. as he then finds Bernardo on this right hand side he creeps forward Sterling with the ball and he manages to just punt that into the bottom right-hand corner, it looks like. Really good goal there by C City. Just taking advantage of us being a bit sloppy in defence. We I don't even think we played particularly bad there. It's just it opened up and Sterling... Who was that offside there? Maybe that Dembele is up front. Maybe, maybe could have obstructed the play there, but we do drop down to fourth. This is four, top four now. Tottenham are rivaling us in this sort of top four spot. I think the league has gone at this point. We are, if we lose today, we're 15 points behind. If we win today, we're 12 points behind. Four games there that have to be uh, go in our favour against Liverpool. Um, but yeah, we could be, we could do with winning, perhaps winning this game. I'm going to go to balanced. I'm going to go to balanced. Obviously, apply the instructions to them as well. And it looks like we've got a highlight here going forward. Ericsson with the ball in towards the back post. Lindelof picks it up. Can he find a pass? He can. And it's Skriniar, but it's probably offside. As there's no um, goal at the top of the screen as there normally is. The goal has gone up for review and it has been called back. As they now have a free kick further forward. De Bruyne with the ball in. Comes to John Stones. And it looks like Dembele's nodded that in. 2-0 for City now. Really, this is going against the run of play, I think. Something that... Um, that's not going in our favour. John Stones with the ball there. Dembele just nods it into the other corner. Completely against run of play. As we have a, a highlight from kickoff here. Carvajal plays it to Skriniar. To Lindelof. Now, can we find a ball out wide? We can. Rashford picks it up. He seems to cut inside. To Goretzka. Can he find Luke Shaw out on the left hand side? He can't. Cancelo now on the ball. Finds a ball forward. Ugh. Picks it up to De Bruyne. Out wide to De Bernardo. 
Bernardo Silva running it forward with De Gea's there with the save. And De Gea's not having the greatest of games, I've got to admit. Carvajal as well not having a great game. But hopefully we can sort of turn this round in the second half if we manage to get something back here from this highlight. But it looks like it might be theirs. Bernardo Silva on the ball again to De Bruyne. My acres of space. And he just shoots it wide. So, as we go into half time, I think we've been the... Personally, I think we've been the better heart side. Uh, things hasn't gone right for us so far. Let's, let's try and get a bit passionate here. There's a lot more to come from them as well. Um, get a bit passionate with it. Tactics-wise, I'm just going to probably close them down a little bit more. Um, I want to see us close them down, maybe drop a bit deeper as well. We are playing quite. We are playing pretty well though. It's just I can't. I can't think how we can change this. Whether or not I bring off Sancho, Ericsson with the ball in here. Can't find anyone in the box. Edison there now picks up the ball, plays it out wide to Sterling. It looks like City are looking to counter attack here. Sterling looking dangerous as the ball goes flying across the face of goal. But yeah, this is definitely something that we can pro try and win here. As City coming forward again, Cancelo on the ball now. Out wide to... Ugh. He now pings the ball into the box. Skriniar though, solid. Finds Lodi on the edge of the box. And it looks like Carvajal might try and deal with it, but it's still in. It's come out to Dembele. And Lindelof managed to just get that away in time. Arthur picks it up. They're coming forward again. But De Gea pings that out to Rashford now. And looks like our time to counter-attack. Can he find Greenwood? I thought he might have played that a bit earlier. Find Sancho though and Sancho. Not, nothing happening there. And I'm going to make a few changes. Right. We're going to rock my favourite formation that we play. The 4-3-3. Three, three. Rashford on the left hand side. Greenwood on the right. Marshall through the middle. I am actually going to bring on Paul Pogba in the deep line playmaker role. Um, he's not having a fantastic game. In fact, Van der Beek was having a good game. Hmm. Maybe if I keep Van der Beek on, I'll bring Goretzka off. And I'll, I'll actually play Van der Beek in the box to box midfielder role. Um, other than that, Green was not having a fantastic game. I might bring on Neymar towards the end of the game as well. But that, I'm going to switch to that. I'm going to go, I'm going to go attacking. We need, we need something from this game and demand more from the lads. We need something from this game. Big time. If you want to still stand a chance at maybe getting a title, maybe, maybe. Sterling coming forward. Carvajal manages to tackle it off him. Dembele's got a free header in the box, though. Ooh, it's getting a bit tight here. We need to try and find something from this game. I might, I might actually push forward a, a bit more again. Uh, get a bit tighter to them as well. Distribute of the box. We want to counter-attack on them. I want to, we don't want to shoot on sight. And actually, as well as that, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna play it like this. So. Let's see what we can do here. They're looking fired up again. 65th minute now, 25 minutes to go. A highlight commences. De Bruyne picks up the ball from the throw-in. Can he find the ball into the middle? He can. He fi picks out Arthur, who finds Sterling. Looking pretty good doing now this left-hand side, City. Can he find Sterling again? He can. But we managed to block the shot. Arthur now on the ball. Finds Sterling again. The ball into the box. Can Luke Shaw get there first? He can't. And Bernardo Silva with a great ball taking it round him, he seems to go alone and De Gea manages to pick that up we're getting absolutely dominated out here, I don't know what, I don't know what else we can do really, show some passion lads we're going to go very attacking, we're going to have to push forward, play it really wide not bothered where we play it now, just um, slightly more, play it slightly more direct and pass into the play, I want to see those balls over the top Ericsson with the corner now, can he find a good ball into the box, he can't Rashford now finds finds Ericsson on this other uh, left hand side. Plays about to Lindelof to Martial. Oh, and Edison again manages to just pick that out of the near enough pick it out of the back of the net. Now here we have it. Ericsson with a free kick, looking dangerous, and again, again he's managed to pick it off the line. Oh, I just don't think this game's going to go our way. Ladies and gents, it seems it just something against us this game. Um, I'm going to have to tell him to push forward. I'm going to have to tell him to uh, get creative even. I was just going to get creative again. A bit of inspire, inspiration again. Going to bring on Neymar for the last five minutes. Um, bring him on instead of Greenwood. Greenwood's having a shocker up front. Uh, Phil Foden on the ball now. Fresh legs, he's been brought on. Lodi 
back to Foden, back to De Bruyne, finds Lodi on the overlap. Carvajal doing great to block that again. De Bruyne on the edge of the box. Tries to find the ball out wide. He can't find the ball though. And now we have a three on two situation if we manage to win that ball. But Rashford very poor there. Really poor. When it, when it mattered, he didn't come through. Van der Beek wins it back again though. He's been playing really well. Now what can he do with it? Can he find a pass? He goes alone and it's a shocker. That is an absolute shocker. What was that? We're not setting ourselves up for the... For, well, we're setting ourselves up all right for top four here. A draw would have been better, but can't win them all. City did well there. I can't fault your performances, to be honest with you. We've done all right. The title's probably not ours this season. I've, I've settled for that a few games ago anyway, because Liverpool seems to have gone on a great, great run. Um, but yeah, it's looking tight at the top between those two. We're looking for that fourth place battle. We beat them in the Carabao Cup final, but we couldn't beat them away from home. And now we're going to go straight into the Atletico Madrid game, where hopefully a few changes might be in order, but hopefully we can get the, the goals we need to sort of come back and advance through to the second round, the quarterfinals. Fingers crossed. So just as, an, as, a, as I am in advancing through, we've actually just had the uh, youth intake. Not very exciting, but we have had one striker called Emmanuel Gambato, who looks like a really good striker. 17 years of age. Um, I'm going to just approach the signing now as a youngster. Uh, get him on that youth contract. But he looks really good. 14 finishing, 13 first touch, 11 dribbling, 14 free kick taking, 14 technique already. He looks really good already. Mentally, mentally looks Great, great, like really good. Physically could do with a bit of work, stamina-wise, stamina and jumping reach, natural fitness, probably a bit, something that can be developed, definitely. But he looks like a nice little addition to the squad. Um, and then the next player, Owen Dernin, 16-year-old young striker, another striker coming through the ranks. We're looking pretty good for the future, but obviously I won't be here, but it's just nice to see. Um... I'm advancing forward now. I'm just going to talk to you about the tactics I'm going to I'm going to play. So this is, this is my thought. We're going to play a 4-2-2-2 with the wingers, two strikers. I'm going to have King of Europe, obviously, Arman Greenwood, and Marshall up front. The two lethal strikers, Neymar on that left hand side. We've bought him for a reason, so we're going to play him. Then we're going to have Sancho on the right hand side, and then I'm going to drop. The, the midfield is deeper. Hoping, if I play a bit more of direct football, Pogba's got the physicality to play more of a deep line playmaker support in that sort of deep defensive midfielder role. And then also I'm going to play uh, Van der Beek in more of like a ball winning midfielder role. Um, if, if it needs changing or we need the goals, I can always push them forward. But that's, that's, the, that's the thinking that I'm going into this site, into this game now. Uh, we, we need this win. So I'll just quickly show you what I'm going to be running here. I'm just going to switch out to this tactic. Oh, Van der Beek can't play. Ah, uh, yeah, Goretzka can play though. So that's all good. This is how we're playing it. Now, I know, I know it looks like we've not got a lot of, <laughs> we haven't got a lot of, um, plays and we're leaving it a lot, very open in this, in this, in this midfield area. But we, we really need, like, really need, this um this win so i will be playing uh a ball winning midfielder support deep line playmaker for support pogba can come in there for van der beek we've got goretzka in there as well i we've got major issues in this mid midfield section here this is currently nobody directly responsible for this area of the pitch i'm not really bothered about losing out in this midfield area because i'm pretty much sure they're gonna they're gonna in fact i'm gonna just take off Carvajal as well. Dallow's still injured. Uh, Carvajal had a very bad game last game and I can't afford to have, have him have another shocker there. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm going to play them in these roles. I know it, it says they can't play them and the star rating's not great. <coughs> Excuse me. But we, we really need... We need that... We need a sort of... How can I put it? Um... We need to have the security at the back, but we also need to be able to get them forward. 
So I can't think how else we'd, we'd do this really. Uh, we're going to regroup. Um, drop in a bit deeper, Drop get them a, playing a bit higher up. Close down with a bit more urgency, play it a bit wider. As, uh, no, no, I won't play a bit wider. But that's how we're going to play it. Um, we can always push them forward, but we need that security in the defence. Because we know the defence is slacking at the moment. They're, they're playing alright, but just not particularly great. This midfield area, Koke and Saul, I don't, I, I'm not really that bothered if they have that sort of, because all that's going to happen is Saul, uh, Koke, and then we're going to have Lorente in the, the, this three area here. So they can control the game all they like, but as soon as they try and get past this sort of back six we've got here, it's not going to happen for them. And then when, all of a sudden, Lorente will push forward a little bit because he sees this space. Hopefully, we'll catch these back four out by having the four of our own sort of pouncing on them. That's the thinking, that's the thought beh process behind it. I'm going to get passionate. I want, I know they want to avenge from, from last time. We're going to get assertive. Um, I, I'm going to say I have faith in them. Um, ultimately, do I? Mm, maybe not. But, <laughs> but we'll see how we go on. Uh, I'm hoping we can get something from this game as we have a corner straight from the off, actually. Goretzka picks up the ball on the edge of the box. Gets it back from Lorente. Lindelof now. We're playing the ball quite nicely. Neymar on this right-hand side. Can he find the ball in? He signs Sancho. Sancho finds Greenwood. Back to Pogba. And Pogba's scored. Six minutes in. We've got the goal we need. We need another one now. And then it's anyone's game. It's anyone's game. Neymar picks up on this right-hand side. Plays it back inside to Sancho. Sancho plays it into Greenwood. <coughs> Excuse me. Thought he might have done something there. Sancho has a shot. Deflects out to Pogba. Who then... Puts that right in the top bins, the top echelons, as they like to say. And it started off brilliantly in this game. Um, we're doing pretty well. We're doing pretty, pretty well. Tactically, I'd like to say, I hope we can sort of hold this down. Apply some opposition instructions, just to make sure we don't do anything stupid out there. Looks like they're just trying to hold on for the, the win that they've got. I don't want to play a short style of passing at all. Let's get a bit more creative. Let's show some passion, lads. That's what I want. That's what I want to see. A bit more passion. We're coming up to the 35th minute now. It's just been a pretty comfortable game so far. We're we're, t we're on top. We're on top. So I don't want to see. Any, I don't want to see us sort of fall off. Dressing room. Take revenge passionately. We're doing well. <coughs> Please, with how things are going, keep it up. There's a lot more to come from you. Come on. There's a lot more to come from you. Come on. I want to see him take the ball by the horns now. Maybe um, dribble less. Pass pass it into the box. Get go a bit more direct now. Get it right up there straight away. I don't want to see anything any like um, just like sloppy balls forward. I want to see them get the balls forward. Coming up to the 60th minute, I might change the tactic here, go for the three up front. But actually, there's a highlight, and it looks like it might be there. Zhao Felix knocks it back out to Dodo, who's got a good cross on him. Finds Wamba Saka at the back post. Can he close down the man? Arias finds Koki on the edge of the box, looking a bit threatening here. Lorente on the ball now, but if we can win, manage to win the ball back, we've got, we're looking in a good position to counter-attack. Arias now, they're playing it round. Koke, he has a shot. It's deflected. Oh, <coughs> that's probably the worst thing that could have happened there. And now, oh, I've just skipped it as well. I didn't mean to do that. Now we're going to have to go all out. All out now. I can't, I can't think what we can do. We've been playing well all game as well. So, this is how I see us lining up. <coughs> Hmm. We're going to play a weird formation here. And I don't know if you're going to like this at all. Right. Sancho's going to continue playing out on this right hand side. We're going to go to a three at the back. Rashford's coming on. 
and we're going in with this formation. Desperate times calls for desperate measures. <coughs> oh no. Um, I, just, I, I can't think what else we can do here now. I'm gonna play a bit wider. Not 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 mark as tight. I've gone silent, but I, I'm really struggling what to do here now. Um, I'm just gonna have to rock with that and tell them to show show a bit of passion. <laughs> That's all I can think to do. Seventy second minute now. We've gone very attacking. We need two goals. Two goals now is what we need, and it doesn't look like it's coming at all. Demand more from the lads. Come on, boys. We need this. Neymar with a corner now. Can he find anyone in the box? He can't. We've only got one person back. Skriniar plays out wide to Sancho. We've got boys in the box. It's a threatening cross in. Pogba finds Neymar. Neymar now gets dispossessed. Out to Skriniar. Skriniar plays it to Goretzka. To Sancho. Finds Greenwood. Can he find a cross in now? But gets tackled and it's cleared out again. Skriniar brings it back forward once again though. Can he find the ball down the line? Lamar takes it off him. And it looks like they're going to counter. Morata, it's three on two here. Luke Shaw manages to se secure the ball, though. And De Gea plays it forward. Hold on. Martial. Lorente. Lorente was tripped. He's going to get sent off. Is he? No. Oh. Yes, he has. He's been sent off. Right. Right. I don't, I don't, I don't, honestly, I don't even know anymore. Pogba's got... I'm going, I'm going all out now. This is it. Um, who's having a shocker? Anyone having a shocker? Oh, the, the middle two are playing really well. Goretzka's coming off. Fernandez is coming on. Um, I, I can't think what else I can do here. I'm going to bring on Maguire. Just play him as as a, um, a defensive, central defensive if it, cent, cent, centre back. Oh, I can't get my words out. We need we need to just punt this forward as soon as we can. Oh, um. Counter press. <coughs> Excuse me. Distribute it quick. Get them forward. I don't know. I, I don't know what else I can do now. I don't know what else I can do. Confirm the changes. Four minutes. We've got four minutes for two goals. I don't think it's. I don't think it's possible. As the clock rush runs down, and there we have it. That's it. We're out. We're out. And that comes to the end. I can't... Yeah, it just wasn't good enough. It just wasn't good enough, lads. I'm, I'm off. <laughs> I'm off. I'll see you next year. Somewhere else. <laughs> oh, shocking. We've gone out in the first round. It's just not good enough. So, Neymar's been fined. He accepts the fine. <coughs> well... It didn't go to plan. Well, it went to plan. We did all right in the first half. wasn't too bad. And then, just all of a sudden, it crumbled. Whether or not we should have pushed forward from the start of the game, who who knows? Who knows? But schedule-wise, now we've got no FA Cup. We've got no Champions League. I'm just going to play all these games and bring you the last game of the season. Um, so yeah, I'm. <laughs> we're going to look at a few jobs. Staff, what I'll show I'll show you the job centre wise because we do need to hop around Europe now, try and get some uh, n a new challenge. Basically, we just needed a few new challenges. Insecure jobs. There's quite a few going around here. We've got Monaco insecure and rich. <coughs> it could be a possibility. We've got Napoli and we've got AC Milan who are also big big sides in Italy. Third place and fifth place. They're so not exactly the worst teams in the world. Um, but the big one I'm looking at up here, although they're doing quite well at the moment, is Barcelona. Barcelona is the team I want. Now, I'm I'm hoping, and I'm pretty much sure, if I just check the Champions League stage, um, champion, the champions, there we are. Barcelona did go through. Now, who have they... Oh, it's not been drawn yet. But ho I'm hoping if they get knocked out of the Champions League and they finish quite poorly in the La Liga, 
Um, oh, it's not called La Liga, is it? It's called the Spanish Division or something. Spanish Division. Spanish First Division. Uh, oh, it is called La Liga. My bad. <laughs> um, I'm hoping if if they just drop off. I need, I need to, I need them to drop off. This is, it's a team I just want to manage. Um, they've got Valencia to play. They've got Atletico Madrid to play. Sevilla to play. They've got, still got the Champions League. They've still got the Copa del Rey final as well. So if they lose the Copa del Rey final, they're out in the Champions League. They're dropping points in the La Liga. Hopefully, because this team is unreal. Uh, like unreal, unreal. They've still got Messi playing, who's really good. Emerson. Uh, Everton, so Everton, sorry, they've got two Emersons. What's going on there? Um, the Stegen's a world class goalkeeper. Frankie De Jong's world class. Ruben Diaz is world class. Sergio Roberto is a great player. Griezmann's a great player. Just Kai Havertz, a lot of great players and a lot of money to spend. So that's what I'm hoping for. I will bring you the next episode. It will be Arsenal at home, last day of the season. See what happens. See who, who knows? We could still win the league. We could still win the league. Um, but. Sadly, out of the Champions League, we're looking for a new challenge. That's our time. Maybe not done in English football. Who knows? I'm still going to probably carry on the series uh, after after we may perhaps go go for the twenty years. Who know? Who knows? Who knows? See see how it goes on. But yeah, I hope you did enjoy. If you did, leave a like on the video. Uh, you probably didn't enjoy this episode. It's been a bit miserable. Um, if you did like the, I've got thirty seconds left on my camera actually. So. <laughs> Yeah, subscribe if you are new, if you're enjoying the content, and I shall see you in episode 31, which will be the last day of the season, and possibly our last game in English football. Ciao.